You mentioned uh, being in county jail, yeah. getting some fights. So now you walk into county jail, and you got this tattoo on your forehead, man. Oh, neighborhood crib. What happens? I take my shirt off as soon as I hit that holding tank. Look around, where you from? From Fight Fight Crip. I'm Crip Mac. I'm HK Destruction. I keep it 50 Fish Street. All right, where we from? Uh, you fight me? You got face. All right, we're going to get this. You know, we're going we gonna to get it out the way right now, neighborhood Crip. Then they want to talk after, like, oh my gosh, you're famous. My baby mama talks about you and this and that. Like, do you mind if I put you on the phone? Like, this is enemies talking. You know, but at the end of the day, if you fight in the county jail, motherfuckers, good. we got to live fight together. That's why I was letting Adam know. You fight me? Oh, huh. So it's like, after you get it, you get out. All right. Oh, uh, but you still got some of them, still got animosity. Oh, but if they do, because we already got out, they, you know, they're going to stay by themselves. So hood. They're going to stay where they at on hood. I'm going to stay where I'm at in the, in the cells or the dorm on hood. You fight me? How many fights do you think you were in when you were in County 17. Jail? 17. I'm going to keep it 55th straight. 17 Man. motherfucking phase. And how, how long were you in there? Shit, I, I was only in there 71 days. Yeah. It goes from going to holding tanks, going to court, you know, dorms. You go to the, to the cells at Men's Central Jail, which is CJ. You find me 4,000 for 4,400 cells. But you got new motherfuckers coming in every day from different hoods. So we you going to pop the lock, cuz we're going to get down there. We're going to get down with you. We're going in the day room. We're going to fight. Shower time, all right, cuz. We're going to shower up, cuz. Day room. Nigga, everybody get their haircuts, cuz. We're going to get down. Oh, neighborhood crib. And then after that, cuz, you find me, go to court. You're going to squabble on neighborhood crib. You come back, find court, cuz, on hood. All right, let's say about, about two weeks later, mm, on hood. You know, they call Wayside. Wayside bus, Wayside bus on neighborhood crib. You get your shit, you go to Wayside. You get to Wayside, there's enemies there and there's homies there. There's homies there, there's enemies there. You find me, they're going to keep coming in. It's like a rotation. So every day in jail, you're just looking, because any day it could change. I've seen it change to where we had a gang of homies. But something broke out to where a custer came up in that motherfucker. So niggas all had to beat cut down to where everybody goes to the hole. Guess what? That's when it's going to change. The whole shit going to change. You might, you might come back in that same dorm or that same uh, unit and there's enemies all in that motherfucker. So it's all about programming and staying solid in there. Oh, look, it's serious. And I let fans know this shit ain't a game. This shit is real. It's serious as a motherfucker. A lot of people find me funny, but this shit is real. Rolling. Real as a motherfucker. Uh, at one point, you end up getting in a fight where you lose your tooth. Oh, brother. I will. What, what was that like? Well, I'm going to keep it 55th Street with you. I'm a CCB. You find me? That's a downtown Short Ridge Court on Hood. You find me? All right, can I come up in there? You find me? So some non-affiliates over here, some neutral motherfuckers over here, a couple hub and a dub, Compton and Watts niggas over here. No homies on neighborhood crib. I look over, yeah, it's a big ass nigga. See, I'm, I'm 6'2", 270, I'm big. You're a big dude. But this motherfucker's 6'4", about 320, 340. You find me? On Hustlers. Yeah. A blood uh, from the west side named Brazy. We got it, you, know, you find me? That motherfucker's 6'4", about 340, but on Swole, because he just did 15 years upstate. We get down, cut, we get it. It's a good round. On Hustlers, cut, drop me. We get down again on neighborhood crap. Cut, hit me with some horror, cut, knock the teeth out. I'm like, oh, come on, look. But at the end, uh, the, the squad and all that, you fight me when you get down, it's over with. So I tell people, it's over with after that. You fight me? That, you, you, when you say uh, a big motherfucker, that's probably as big as, uh, you remember Debo from Friday? Mm -hmm. Big like cut. 6'4", 350, 340. Swole, cut, been on the yard 15 years. Just coming down and caught another case. You fight me? On hood. And I got, you know, I got they hood whacked out on my hand, so... It's mandatory in a lot of motherfuckers from the streets, you fight me. B5, I was famous, knew about me, because I'm a real nigga from, from, from the hood, and I actually play ball. You fight me on hood, motherfuckers know what that is, we ain't got to get in that. I'm rolling. How popular were you in jail? Were people like, yo, you that dude? Yeah, they, they, you know, they was, they was, and you got, you know, motherfuckers that want to, enemies that fight you, and then they want to call their baby mama, and the baby mama, like, oh my gosh, bye bye crap's in there, like. Like, yeah, Kyle realized you fight me, yeah, real popular on five miss. Yeah. Oh, who? Was it, compared to the last time you went to jail, compared to this time, what, what, uh, you know, was there any benefits? Or was it worse? Was it worse because you were kind of popular? Benefits are worse. I mean, they, people, you know, they, they fuck with you, they make spreads with you. You fight me, the homies, and, you know, different people on hood, they fuck with you. 
you know, a lot of people want you to do a, uh, I would have my pay, so I, they, would, they would pay me, cause like $100, $200 worth of store on neighborhood crib just to shout them out on my on my Instagram. You find me? So I had that going on. Then met a good guy up in there. You find me? He was doing the rat food clothing. You see, I advertised that motherfucker. I was in there with cuz. You know what I'm saying? And he found out. He was talking to the homies. Cuz was talking to the homie shy boy from Rolling 90s from 9 Up. And cuz was like, oh, you like cuz? Cuz famous? Cuz, you find me? Cuz could get things going for you. Cuz he was getting, trying to get his clothing line going. So he's like, hey, look, when you going home? I'm like, all right, I'm going to go home this day. He's like, yeah, all right, all right, this is what I'm going to do. He said, give me your cash app and everything. He said, look, he said, I, he had his girl send the clothes to uh, my CM house, the sitch I was staying with, to her issue when I got out of jail. The shit arrived there two days before I had that. As soon as I got there, I put the clothes on on Neighborhood Crib. He's in the video, got on YouTube with cut clothes, the rap fool. On Neighborhood Crib, cuz sent me $1,200 cash app. Like, here, go advertise my shit on Adam 22 shit. And from there, Cub been blowing up at the same time. People been buying rat food. They been buying Crip Mac clothing. You find me on her. So pretty much, Cub helped me get back on my feet from seeing in there. Because, you know, in jail, commissary is expensive. So when I got out and had that, that, that was cool. You hear me? I was, I was right back on. Man, that's what's up. You know, but he really wanted money. his shit going. And his shit going now is worldwide. Rat food clothing. And you know why it's rat food clothing? What do you feed a rat? Can you figure it out? Poison? A bowl full of motherfucking bullets on hood. <laughs> oh, hood. Huh. That, 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 that's probably uh, the old girl coming with the oh, Popeye's chicken. That's probably chicken. the Popeye's chicken. That is the Popeye's chicken. Let me find this motherfucker. Everybody watching, thing. we about to take a quick break. We're having Popeye's hey, chicken. Hey, girl, want some Popeye's chicken? Uh -oh.